Marcus Houston is getting dragged and exposed for being a creep after the internet found out about his super inappropriate relationship with his wife, Maya, and how he might have groomed her into marrying him. The story is way creepier than it sounds and Marcus is really feeling the heat. But Maya is playing the loyal wife game and is sticking by her man. And y'all are not going to believe the wild thing she has to say about their marriage. Singer Marcus Houston has been trending on social media for allegedly grooming and trapping his wife, Maya Dickey, but somehow that's not even the worst part of this story. So back in 2020, Marcus and Maya got married and immediately their relationship drew a lot of scrutiny because of their crazy age gap since Marcus was 39 and Maya was only 19. They got engaged not long after Maya turned 18, meaning that she was barely legal and Marcus was an entire 38 year old man who was with an 18 year old girl. Of course, people suspected that they had started their relationship before Maya turned legal because there ain't no way they started dating and got engaged all in a couple of weeks. Like, come on, let's be real here, folks. But this story is way messier than the creepy age gap. It turns out that Maya was reported as a missing kid when she was 15 and she kind of disappeared from the face of the earth until she popped up when she turned 18 and of course she got engaged to Marcus soon after. This fact was highlighted by a Twitter user who said, so Marcus Houston married a 19 year old girl who was reported missing since she was 15 and she just popped back up dating him once she was legal age. These men really be getting away with crimes right in broad daylight. People knew about the creepy age gap, but the fact that Maya was a missing child, nah, that's just really wild. According to sources, Mayana Dickey was reported missing by her adoptive parents in August 2016, age 15. It was believed she traveled to her birth mother who had lost custody back in 2012. Unfortunately, this happens all too often with adopted kids and it sometimes makes it harder to figure out if they had been kidnapped or had run away. Maya just kind of went radio silent between 2016 and 2018, but one weird thing about about this whole case is that during those years when she was missing, she was credited as an art director for several of Chris Stokes' movies that spanned from 2016 to 2018. And for those who still don't get the connection, Chris Stokes is Marcus's manager and they have a very close relationship. Now, at the time that Maya was credited for those movies, she was under 18. So the probability that she was a real art director is very slight. Oh, and let's not even get into the fact that once people started talking and made this about this weird fact, her her IMDB page was immediately deleted and scrubbed clean. I don't know about y'all, but it certainly smells like a cover up to me. The story that they told was that Maya was close friends with Chris Stokes' daughter, Chrissy, and they were so close that they were like sisters and Chris was like a father to her. This still doesn't explain why or how they were with a minor who was legally classified as missing and people believe that they had helped Marcus hide Maya from the public until she turned 18. And let's not forget that Chris Stokes himself has SA allegation against him him by B2K member Raz B, who used to be managed by Chris. Also, there's this weird countdown that Marcus had on his Instagram in late 2018, and it's believed that he was counting down the days until Maya turned 18 and they could go public with their relationship. The countdown ended on October 7th, which just so happened to be Maya's 18th birthday. Coincidence? I don't think so. It's just creepy. It gets even creepier when Marcus replied to the backlash and tried to defend himself. He posted this picture of him and Maya on Instagram. Instagram and captioned it. With all that's going on in the world, my love life shouldn't be a topic. But since it is, let me just give y'all the facts so you don't have to allegedly believe or create rumors. After reading the blog that was published about my fiance and I, I felt with this situation I needed to speak because this is not music or television. This is my family, my future wife, and my life. I met Maya in 2018 through a mutual friend. Never before then did I even know she existed. The fact that she was listed on one of our films was a misprint or someone being messy. Yeah, one thing these type of people always say is that they met their partners when they turned 18. Like, be for real here, dude. He continued, Maya is like a daughter to Chris Stokes because we are all like family. Being a Jehovah's Witness, we all showcase true love like family. That's it. Chris's real daughter, Chrissy Morales, became friends with Maya in 2018, where we all first met Maya at a Jehovah's Witness convention. It was then that Chrissy and Maya became friends. Maya and I didn't start dating until she was an adult. We fell in love and we got engaged March of 2019. He also said, my dad, Mike,
Michael loves her and the people I am closest to all love her as well. Most importantly, we have Jehovah's blessing and there is so much more to be concerned about in the world than creating rumors about me. No one ever gets facts anymore. They just run with stories, but hey, I guess it comes with the territory. So to all the rumors about me, none of it is true. And that's the story. No twists, no turns, no scandals, just true love. I just find it interesting how he wrote an entire college essay defending himself for dating an 18 year old, but had nothing to say about her being a missing kid. Like, sir, aren't you leaving out a good chunk of the story? Like why nobody in Chris Stokes family ever talk about Maya until she was 18, even though he was like a father to her. Oh, and let's not gloss over the fact that Marcus Houston himself admitted that Maya was underage when he met her, but he decided to wait until she was an adult. Yeah, exactly. Well, the backlash hasn't ended or even eased at all. And Marcus recently spoke on his marriage and tried to defend it, but he just made things worse for himself. Me and my wife's situation is a little different, you know, how we were, how we met, you know, through mutual friends and everything like that. You know, I, when I met my wife, she was 17. So, you know, we had no really conversation and no really connection until you know, she was of age and people left comments on this video saying, I want to add another thing. He says in an IG post, we met through a mutual friend. The mutual friend is another grown man and his now wife was friends with his homeboy's daughter. Imagine preying on your friend's daughter's little friend, odd behavior. And they're always hyper religious. This man, Marcus Houston, is weird, bro. Trying to explain away being a creep and marrying that little young girl? Man, that ish is not of God, no matter how you try to spin it. Weirdo. And Marcus Houston is coming off creepy. You was messing with a kid, my guy. P's always speaking about who's legal and who's not. Ain't no darn difference between you being 40 with a 17-year-old and being 40 with an 18-year-old. That's the same child, just a different day. But the wild fact about this is that Maya doesn't agree that she's been trapped at all. According to an insider, Maya would like people to keep her man's name out of their mouths because nobody really understands what they have. She knows that she's an adult and she can make her own decisions and she truly believes that Marcus is the man for her. She isn't ashamed of their relationship and often posts pictures of him and their baby girl on Instagram because she's not going to let other people dictate how she lives her life when they have no idea what's really going on in her life. So it looks like Maya would like us to keep our concern and outrage and shove it where the sun don't shine because she likes her life very much. But what do y'all think about this? Especially the part about her being a missing child. Let me know your opinion in the comments below and then check out this next insane video.